Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. So are you struggling to analyze any data set with the help of Python programming and you want a very simple function that will calculate each and everything for you. In this video, I will show you how to create a powerful function to analyze any data set in just a matter of seconds. So guys, in this particular session, we will be derive a function which I have mentioned that function will calculate mean, median, minimum of maximum value standard deviation, variance, skewness, kurtosis, and IQR. And guys, apart from this, we will be discuss some other details that will calculate data type of a column, most frequent value, and how we can handle the null value, top 10 distance value, and memory uses. So guys, by the end of this video, you will able to analyze any data set just like a pro. So grab your laptop, open your Jupyter Notebook or VS Code and let's get started. So guys, first of all, I am going to import the pandas and numpy, pandas for data handling and numpy for mathematical computation. And here I am reading the Excel file and in this Excel file, I have 9994 rows and 17 columns. And this is the data set look like. Interesting. And I hope you guys are aware with this data set. Now let's create a very powerful function. That particular function will calculate the statistics, mean, median, standard deviation, detecting the missing value and identify the most frequent value. All right. So guys, this is the function name df column summary, and we will be provide a df. And here, first of all, I am going to create a variable that is called result list that will be store the data of my summary tables. As I just mentioned, we will be calculate how to handling the missing value data type and how we can calculate the statistical information and all. And guys, first of all, I am going to apply the looping concept, my all the columns of the data frame. So DF column name and the data type. So the column data type will store the data type of particular column. Similarly, for that column, I am going to find out the values count. Okay. And then I am going to calculate the number of distance value using the value count dot shape of zero. So let me tell you. So for an example, let's say if I'm going to target here the reason. Okay. And this is the D type. All right. And then what I'm doing here, I am going to calculate the value counts here. Simple. So this is the value count. And after that, what I'm doing here, I am going to write shape of zero. Simple. So using the shape of zero, I have only four items. Although we can apply df dot reason let me tell you here df dot reason and number of unique as well so this is up to you right whatever the function you want to utilize so you can utilize accordingly so here i have four unique value for that column interesting and guys after that what i am doing here i am going to handling the numerical and non-numerical data separately so using the pandas API types and it is is numeric or not, whatever the column I am going to pass here. If it is numeric, then I will be drop all the missing value from that column. Similarly, in case if I found any column that is Boolean, so I am going to convert into the integer. So PD, which is API types and again is Boolean data type of that particular column. If it is Boolean, then I am going to convert into the integer. So for an example, let's say in case any column is represent to true and false, then I'm going to convert into the integer. Okay. Because our data frame can have numbers, non-numerical data, and similarly some Boolean data as well. All right. And guys, first of all, I am going to calculate the minimum value of that particular column and the maximum value, median, average, and the standard deviation, variance, and some skewness and kurtosis. In case if you want to calculate the IQR, then you need to utilize the NumPy. Similarly, you need to utilize the NumPy for median. Okay, so NP.median and NP.percentile. So first of all, I'm going to calculate the quartile one and the quartile three. And how we can calculate the IQR? So simple, we can utilize here IQR equal to Q3 minus Q1. Interesting. And now I want to utilize here the else part in case so guys, in case any particular column does not refers to as number, then what I will do, I will be define here the min, max, median, average, standard deviation, variance, and skewness, kurtosis, and quartile one, quartile three, and IQR equal to none. So what is the meaning of this? So for an example, we cannot find out the minimum and maximum and some other statistical information in case you have the data, which is categorical. So that's why here I am going to supply as a none. I hope it is clear for every one of you. 
and similarly let me calculate the most frequent value so how we can calculate the most frequent value so we can utilize again the value count so let me tell you so df which is reason and here i am going to supply the value counts all right so this value count is giving me the unique value and their count in descending order what i am doing here i am going to utilize which is idx max so which is west is the most frequent value in my whole data set so guys here i am going to adding a logic here in case my value count does not belong to the empty then i can find out the maximum value of that particular column so guys here none represent value count does not return anything all right so guys similarly i am going to find out the missing value so simple null count which is df column name is null dot sum and similarly non null count which is df column name not null and sum and here i am going to filter the data where my null count is greater than 0 so i can check how many nulls we have and now similarly i can calculate the memory uses so guys whenever i am going to utilize any particular column so i want to calculate their memory uses and apart from that i am going to find out 10 frequent value so how we can find out the 10 frequent value so for an example let's say we have a sub category and here i am going to supply the value counts all right so value count so it is returning me these values now what i want i want let's say top 10 values like this so these are the first 10 value because value counts always giving the data in descending order based on the count of the sub category all right and here i am going to convert into the dictionary interesting so guys right now we have calculate almost everything whatever we want and here we have calculate a variable which is result list in this result list variable i want to calculate or i want to append all the column whatever the column i have calculated here and guys simple result list dot append and here i have appended all the column in the form of dictionary interesting so here this is my column name and this is the column this is the data type and the column type similarly the distance value and this is the number of distance value and these are min max and so on and so forth and here i have calculate top 10 distance value and their memory uses all right now that result i have stored in the form of data frame so this is my result list i have converted into the pandas data frame and here i will be return this result df interesting now let me run this particular function okay so here we need to define the colon simple all right guys now let me call this particular function so guys here you can see i have a column name data type distant value count minimum and maximum value median average standard deviation variance skewness kurtosis most frequent value and this is your iqr non null counts and top 10 distance value and their memory uses all right so guys here we don't have any information because our column are categorical or maybe some date and time properties so here order id which is object order date which is date and time similarly ship date and the ship mode customer name segment and city and state region which are object similarly product id categories and so on and so forth these are also object and here our sales quantity discount and profits are numbers in the form of float integer float and float respectively now look at this so here we have a order id so how many distance order id we have 5009 how many unique ship mode we have four okay four interesting and this is the most frequent value here so in the ship mode so in the entire data set we are utilizing the standard class which is most frequently ship mode similarly this is the customer name so this is the william brown is my most frequent customer and similarly my reason which is west we have already calculated my most sold category which is office supply and here my sub category which is binders and this is my most sellable product which is staple envelope and guys similarly this is for sales which is float 64 and we have unique sales is 
6144 and it is showing for none let me check so here the minimum and maximum values are none so let me check the function here so okay so here only the identification is the problem now what i am doing here so first of all i am going to checking the data type if that data type is numbers then fine and here we are checking if the data type is belongs to the boolean or not okay now let me re execute and now let me run once again so here you can see this is the sales okay which is minimum and maximum value and this is for median and average and this is for standard deviation variance and your skewness and this is your kurtosis and your most frequent value and similarly we have iqr and some other details you can see all right and this is my top 10 distance value and this is the memory uses so guys you can save this script in the vs code or in dot py file so whenever you need you can call this particular function on any data set and you can have this kind of analysis all right and guys similarly if you want to add some visualization as well so we can add the visualization as well so we can create a histogram bar chart and heat map to understand our data in greater detail using this particular function so let me add the data visualization accordingly so guys sometime you want the data visualization and sometime you don't want the visualization okay so accordingly you can handle that particular function so i am going to add a variable here which is visualize equal to true so if you will set this particular variable as a true so this particular function will give you the data visualization as well interesting and here i am going to add the data visualization so guys first of all i am going to visualize which is true and here i am going to check the data type again is numeric or not if it is is numeric then i am going to utilize the seaborn and that's how i am going to calculate the histograms similarly i want to create a box plot of that particular column and in case my data is categorical then i want to create a bar chart of my top 10 values so you can see here this is very simple neat and clean code i have written and to utilize the seaborn i need to import this particular library as well so simple here import and seaborn as sns simple concept now what i am doing here in case you want to add the heat map based on your missing value so we can add the heat map as well now let me run this so guys when i am going to run this here okay we are getting plt is not defined so similarly we can define this particular library as well okay and now let me run this particular function once again so guys you can see here first of all we are going to find out top 10 frequent categories in order ids so you can see top 10 frequent categories in order date top 10 frequent categories in ship date so we are finding so you can see here top 10 frequent categories in ship mode okay although we have a four class so guys these are top 10 customer based on their count so guys lots of information you can find out on every column so this is for sub category all right and this is my product name and distribution of sales and here box plot of sales distribution of quantity and the box plot of quantity so we can check the outlier as well and similarly this is for box plot so we can check the outlier and similarly this is for profit and here we have detail summary of my each column interesting but now in some cases let's say you don't want the visualization so you can set as a false now when you will run this so here you will have only the that particular statistical information and some other information about your data frame interesting now let's try this particular function on different data set so guys using the seaborn i have load the data of titanic now let me show you some rows here so guys you can see here some of the columns are numerical and some of the column are categorical now i want to call that particular function on the titanic so guys in case you want the visualization so you can set this particular variable as a true and in case you don't want you can set as a false or you can remove this particular parameter now let me run this now you can see so here we have all the data visualization on every column and here we will have the complete matrix of my column 
simple interesting so guys now you can save this particular function on github or in your local system anywhere so you can utilize this kind of functionalities almost every data set okay more specifically if you are going to perform the data analysis data transformation machine learning or data science now you can utilize this particular function and in case if you found any challenge please let me know in the comment box and for now thanks for watching and have a great day